motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS, high-performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. Greetings and peace, family. What is going on? How is your day progressing? How is your week progressing? I hope it's awesome, because mine is awesome. Absolutely magnificent. So let's take a deep breath before we get into this episode. Let's get into the present moment. Let's connect with the divine. Here we go. Ah, yes, 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 and more, yes, more life, more divinity. Man, I'm just, ah, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so amped up. Yo, I'm so amped up. Had a great meditation session this morning. Um, did uh, about an hour's worth of yoga, meditation, got the energy flowing, magnificent morning i um i woke up this morning to uh day 17 of my water fast and yesterday i actually uh did the fast as a soft dry fast a soft dry fast is coming into little little bits of water so you only come into contact with a little bit of water shower you know, brush your teeth, stuff like that. Um, I'm test, I'm testing things. You know, um, to me, life is nothing more than one big experiment, and it's it's up to each of us to realize that and to experiment with ourselves to have certain outcomes that we're looking for. And so I'm not the type of person that takes whatever cultural norms, societal norms may be, I don't take it at face value. I hear it. But then I go into the laboratory of my own consciousness and I tinker with things. And I figure out what things work best for me, what things make me feel the best. And um, right now I'm I'm tinkering with this whole uh, non-eating thing. In fact, I put it out on a video yesterday. If you're if you're only listening to my podcast via like a podcasting platform, uh, you're missing out on some videos that I post on my YouTube channel. So make sure that you um, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get those videos that don't come through the podcast. And you can subscribe by going to thequeendome.com, thequeendome.com. If you're on a computer, look to the right. You'll see the YouTube picture. Click on it, subscribe. If you're on your cell phone, scroll all the way to the bottom. Look at for the YouTube picture. Click it, and you'll subscribe. But yesterday, I put out a video <clears throat> just documenting um, the 16 days at that, at that point of the fast. And just talking about, you know, um, how good I feel, you know, I just, 
That feels so fucking amazing. It's like a, a wonder drug. It's 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 a wonder drug. This is why the medical establishment, because they can't bottle this up and sell it to you in a pill form, they don't recommend it. But it's the it's the it's the highest prescription for optimal health that there is, and science is actually backing this. Um, if you read all the science uh, medical literature, you'll find that what they say is the best diet is no diet. Yeah, the best diet is no diet. Now that's so far removed from what we have been taught, what our societal norms are. And this episode is not even about diet, but this is just where I'm at right now, and I've just got to share this with you before we get into uh, the episode. Um, so question everything. You know, question everything. Don't take things for face value. Even things that I may say to you. I would hope that you would have the intellectual fortitude to take what I say and then go do your own research. Don't take anything that anyone says for, for face value. Because what happens is everyone experiences things differently. Like even with diet, nutrition, and health. You know, everything, everybody has their own journey, their own experience. Now, I can give you an idea based upon what it is they've gone through, but they can't tell you exactly what's going to take place for you. What I can tell you, though, is if you back up from the table and you limit your meals, if you could get your, if you could get your meals down to only one a day, and just measure your improvement as far as how you feel, check it out if that's something you're interested in. If you're interested in optimal health, you know, working on full throttle with your body, try it out. Let me know. Let me know how it works. I'm moving to the stage of, of, of breath terry or breath arian, however you want to say it. This just feels too good. It feels too good. But anyway, um, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm going to drop some videos today um, on breath work because people have been asking me, Queen, what is it? I want to know what you do from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. Like, people are really interested. <laughs> people are really interested in my schedule like that. I think that's weird as fuck. But I'm going to share with you. So I'm going to drop some videos today um, on breath work. You know, moving the energy in your body. Because um, people feel like, you know, well, if I don't eat, I'm going to die. That's a program. That's a story you've been told. Um, and that story's been given to you from the industries that want to make money off of you from, you know, food manufacturing industry, the medical industry, the pharmaceutical industry, right? You got to think about what's their agenda. You know, if their agenda was to have you healthy at optimal health, they would tell you, fast a couple of days a week, you know, back up from the table, eat one meal a day, eat nutritionist whole foods. They would tell you these things. They don't tell you that stuff. They say, here, take this pill and you're going to be on this pill for the rest of your life. Right. But anyway, like I said, all of this is not about the episode that we're going to go into today. So the episode that I want to talk to you about today is um, kill the microwave mentality. Kill the microwave mentality. Again, societal norms, cultural norms that exist today in, in this time and space that we're living in. You see um, commercials. Take this diet pill and in 30 days you'll lose weight. Do this seven-day certification and you'll be an expert. Do this for 10 days and you'll get rid of this. Right? Everything is quick, 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 quick. And usually it's bullshit. Okay? But because that's what's been, you know, fed to us, then we think everything or every change should be, boom, I should be able to pop it in the microwave, put it on popcorn, 
two and a half minutes, I should have the result. No, it doesn't work like that. So whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, you know, maybe you're trying to accomplish better health. Maybe you are tinkering away at a business idea. Maybe, um, like me, I've been trying to do this one martial art move, capoeira move. And I've been working on it, working on it, working on it, working on it, working on it. I mean, working on it for over a year. And yesterday, I just got it. Everything just lined up. I know, I know it's been because of the yoga and the breath work that I've been doing, the whole mind-body connection, the brain-heart coherence. I know that's it. That was the icing on the cake. And I actually videoed it. It's on my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, I was so freaking excited. Um, but, you know, anything worthwhile that you want to accomplish is worth you pursuing it to the end. Right? So you look at your health. You know, I find people all the time, they send me messages and stuff like that because, you know, I was overweight. I was an obese vegan. I tell people all the time I was the fattest vegan that I ever knew at 250 pounds. And, um, you know, I just looked up one day. This was, uh, yeah, the latter part of uh, 2018 or so. I just looked up one day in the mirror. I was like, damn, who are you? Where did you come from? And um, it took some years, you know, to get, accumulate all of that weight. It took some years. You know, now mind you, I carry my weight different. Uh, my weight was distributed pretty even. So, you know, my friends and people around me, they weren't really aware that I was like 250 pounds. The only person that was straight up with me was my grandmother. Grandmother, she never lied. She always gave it to you straight, raw, no chaser. She's like, baby, you don't got so big. <laughs> I love it, though. Because that I, when somebody's straight with me like that, that lets me know that individual, they love me. They got love for me. They're not just around me for whatever, you know, fame, relationship, money, whatever, whatever. Like, they really love me, and they don't care if they so-called hurt my feelings. They're going to tell me straight up. And that was my grandmother. She was the only person. She was the only person. Now that I've been losing, getting into shape, the best shape of my life, you know, I'm in a 20-year-old body right now. Like, yo, this is the best high I've ever had. Beyond Indy Kush ganja. This is the best high I've ever had. But anyway, so, you know, it took me some years to accumulate all of that weight. So me thinking that, you know, in 30 days, I'm going to, you know, <laughs> magically lose all of this weight. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense. You know, as far as my entrepreneurial path, I've been an entrepreneur since I was 15. 15. I told myself around that age that I was going to be a millionaire. At 15 was my first business. I can't tell you how many businesses I have started and so-called failed at. I say so-called fail because it's really not a thing as far as failure. It's just giving you feedback on, on what you should do and what you shouldn't do, right? We're scientists. We experiment with things. We find out what works for us, those things that don't work for us, we discard them, throw them in the trash. So if the thing that you're wanting to pursue, if it is truly aligned with your heart, 
your mind, your spirit, and what it is that you truly want, there's no way that you should stop. There's no way that you should feel like it's going to happen overnight. Now, some things do manifest overnight, right? But those are a few and far between the reality. Okay? So my thing is this. You know, I consult with people all the time on business and on health. And I, I love a person that has a very optimistic point of view. But at the same time, we have to have, you know, reality set in. We have to realize that there's going to be obstacles. There's going to be challenges. There's going to be setbacks. You know, there, there's going to be, you know, that deal that you just knew you had in the bag. It just didn't go for whatever reason. And, and usually the reason is because there's something better for you. There's something greater for you. So you have to have, I'm going to use a big word on you. You have to have stick to in any endeavor. In any endeavor, you have to have stick to Now, I always like to quote the author from The Stranger Secret. He says, success is the pursuit of a worthy ideal. That's success. Success is the pursuit. So if you're overweight right now, you're unhealthy right now, and you make a decision right now, you make a decision, I'm going to start taking care of myself. I'm going to start loving on myself. I'm going to start giving myself the best food that I can. I'm going to start, you know, walking. And you're just pursuing that every day, bit by bit by bit. You're a success to me. You're a success to anybody that has a brain, that has intelligence. Because success is the pursuit of a worthy ideal. Doesn't mean you have to be at the end of the finish line. That's the icing on the cake. It's the journey. It's the journey. When you fall in love with the journey, Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. What people say, they try to put you down because they see you climbing. They want you to keep, get back in the barrel with them, with all the other crabs. So you got you to gotta be like that horse. You got to be like that black stallion. Put your blinders on and just look towards the end goal, the finish line. But enjoy the journey. Every single day, as you do your meditation, you're putting in your mind the vision of you at the finish line and how happy you feel, how accomplished you feel. I get goosebumps just talking about stuff like this because I know what it is. I've been through some things. That business that you're tinkering with, everybody's telling you go get a job. Everybody's telling you that will never work. There's a guy right now. A lot of you know I've been in Bitcoin and crypto and stuff since 2013. Um, mm, I just received a download. That's why I paused. Um, anyways, what I was about to tell you, there's a guy started a, uh, a crypto exchange in 2019. This was two years ago. Two years ago. Today he's a billionaire. He's not even in his 30s yet. So I'm saying all that to say this. You know, I'm not a chaser of money. I'm chasing divinity. You know, that's me. And, 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 in, and chasing divinity seems like money is just falling in my lap. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Um, but what, what I gave you that example to tell you, you know, it's just about lining up with what it is that you want, not expecting it overnight. If it, if it does come overnight, cool. Just know that it's probably not going to happen overnight. And if your idea of what it is that you want for you, if it's worth its salt, you'll see it through to the end. If it's not worth its salt, give that shit up and do something that is. Point blank, period. That's easy. That's simple. It's common sense. 
if it's not worth this salt, tell you like a, I don't know, I don't, I don't know who, who to give credit to this to because I can't remember. But they said, if what it is that you're pursuing in your life, if it's not worth you trading your life for it, don't do it. <sighs> That's heavy. That's heavy. Because you see a lot of people out there bullshitting their life away. Bullshitting their life away. So if the thing that it is that you are wanting for you, if it's not worth you trading your life for, give it up. Find something that's worth you trading your life for. What I do is worth me trading my life for. I could die right now on this podcast and I would be fulfilled. I'm good. Because I'm doing what I would trade my life for. I'm doing and living my passion, which is helping to uplift and empower other people to manifest their abundance and their prosperity. And healing people. I got a, I got a, um, I have a project coming out. And uh, this project is just geared towards women. Sorry, fellas, but it's geared towards women. This next stage that we're going into collectively this entire planet, we're going into the golden age. The golden age requires the divine feminine energy to rise up and take back its place in society. We can't do that if the collective of women are not healed from traumas. A lot of clients I talk to, a lot of women, a lot of their issues, they are not healed from past traumas. So we have to heal our women we have to uh, get to a, a place where they are now self-loved and then we can collectively spread this love across the planet. Whole story of my life. <laughs> Whole story of my life. So this project is going to be a collection of a billion plus women coming together each week. Each week, healing themselves and healing the planet. That's something I would die for. I would trade my life for that. You see what I'm saying? So find out what it is that you would die for and do that thing. Why are you wasting time? Like, why are you wasting time tinkering around, tinkering around with bullshit that, you know, you're like, eh. No. No, you're more precious than that. You're more gifted than that. You are a part of the divine. Walk in your divinity. Walk in your divinity. Kill a microwave mentality. Get on the track of passion. Get on the track of what you would trade your life for. You won't even think about no microwave mentality. Because you'll know. You'll have the joy every single day as you're doing that thing, it will feel so good, you'll never want it to end. You'll never want it to end. So hey, look, I could talk to you all day about this. Um, for the project that I just mentioned, for the women, you all look out for that. That'll be coming soon. Um, we'll be going through some processes. Uh, I am I'm attempting to trademark uh, my healing modality that I've been utilizing for myself and um, certifying women across the planet to uh, utilize this healing modality so they can touch, you know, the people or the women, you know, in, in their communities and things like that. But then um, the higher vision is, again, this collective energy of a billion plus women coming together, healing themselves and healing the planet. So just look out for that. I've got, I got a lot of stuff coming. Okay. Um, you can find everything all the time at the website, thequeendome.com. Another thing I need to uh, make you all aware of, I no longer do free consultations. So if you didn't take advantage of that, why you had the chance, ah, eh, you're SOL. So no longer doing free consultation. If you want a consultation, you've got to pay me for my time. I've got too, 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 too much going on. Too much going on. 
So with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Um, I hope that you make a decision that takes you off the track of just kind of playing around with this life and, and really figuring out why you're here. What is your purpose? What is your gift to humanity? And then do that. And stop bullshitting your life away. Peace. Unconditional love. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe via iTunes and Google Play for upcoming episodes. If you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level, book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website, nobscloser.com. Again, that's N-O-B-S-C-L-O-S-E-R.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.